Hello everyone, I am Sarfraz from mobilesmspeaker.net and today I will do a comparison between Qmobile Noir J5 and Qmobile Noir LT700 Pro. So let's get started. I have already made preview video of Qmobile Noir LT700 Pro and recommending you to watch that video as well. Qmobile J5 is available in Pakistan for Rs 13,990 and LT700 Pro is available in Pakistan for Rs 15,500. Both phones are actually made by Gioni and the Gioni model of J5 is P7 and Gioni model of LT700 Pro is F103 Pro. I will do this comparison in different rounds like round 1 for design, round 2 for display and so on. If any phone wins in that round, I will increase its score by 1. And this will help us to decide which phone is the winner at the end of this comparison. So in round 1, we will look into the design of both phones. Both phones are made of plastic and both feel solid and sturdy in hand. Both phones have similar design language as well. Let me show you all the sides of both phones. Both phone has 3.5mm headphone jack on the top. Same goes for right side of the phones, both have volume rockers and power button. Microphone and micro USB port at the bottom of both phones. Nothing on the left on both phones. On back, both phone has camera along with LED flash and speaker grill at the bottom. But the only difference is that J5 has 8 megapixel camera while LT700 Pro has 13 megapixel camera. Back cover of LT700 Pro is made of matte finish plastic and don't attract fingerprints at all. While back cover of J5 is made of shiny plastic with ripple effects, but it is fingerprint magnet. Sides of LT700 Pro is made of metal with chamfered edges, but on J5 sides are also made of plastic. J5 has notification LED, but on LT700 Pro notification LED is missing. Both phones have two dedicated SIM card slots and separate micro SD card slot, so you can use two SIMs and micro SD cards simultaneously. Let me show you the weight of both devices. Even though LT700 Pro has 100mAh bigger battery and sides are made of metal, but it is lighter than J5 which is remarkable. For me, LT700 Pro has better design because of metallic sides and chamfered edges and matte finish back cover, so LT700 Pro is the winner of this round. Let's move to round 2 which is display. Both phone has 5 inch HD IPS display with 720p resolution and display looks identical on both devices. So I call it a draw between both phones. Now let's move to the next round and in this round we will look into the battery performance of both phones. J5 has 2300 mAh battery while LT700 Pro has 2400 mAh battery. Due to minor difference in battery size, I got 3 hours of screen on time with maximum brightness on both devices. Once again, there is a draw between both phones. Now let's move to the next round and in this round, we will test speaker quality of both phones. Both phone has backfiring speakers, so let's see the sound of both phones. J5 speaker is louder than LT700 Pro, so the winner of this round is J5. Both phones are going neck to neck so far. Let's move to the next round and see which phone comes as a winner. In this round, we will compare the benchmark scores of both phones. Both phones are powered by 1.3 GHz quad core 64 bit processor. But J5 has 2 GB of RAM, while LT700 Pro has 3 GB of RAM. Here is the Intuitu scores of both phones. And here is the Geekbench single and multi core scores. Intuitu score is better on J5, but Geekbench single and multi core scores are better on LT700 Pro. So again, I call it a draw. This battle is becoming more and more interesting. Let's move to the next round in which we will see the boot up time of both phones. Let me boot up the phones on same time.
LT700 Pro is winner of this round as it boosts up faster than J5. Now let's move to the final round. In this round, I will do a speed test of both phones. I will open multiple apps and games on both phones on same time. I will also check memory management of both phones by switching apps and games loaded into the memory. So let's begin the test. I have opened several apps and only system manager app loads faster on J5. Now let's open some games and see if J5 can catch up LT700 Pro. Two out of three games are loaded faster on LT700 Pro. Only Subway Surfers loaded faster on J5. Let me check the task manager and see that all the apps are still stored in the memory. It is looking like both the phones can handle multiple apps in the memory quite well. So the winner of this round is LT700 Pro. Because of 3GB of RAM, LT700 Pro is able to outperform J5 in this round. Here is the final scoreline, LT700 Pro wins that comparison. So that was the comparison between Qmobile J5 and LT700 Pro. I hope this video helps you to decide which phone belongs to you if you are planning to buy any one of these phones. I will bring more videos like this in future so if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please do it now. If you like this video please hit the like button and if you have any questions, feedbacks or suggestions do let me know in the comment section below. For more information please do visit my website.